but I remember being enamored with the frosty blue mm. eyeshadow trend of the yeah. early 2000s. Stunning. I'm Nora. And I'm Jordy. And this is my New York apartment. So Jordy and I met probably seven or eight years ago mm -hmm. now. We both started mm -hmm. as models. We were very into design. She was doing set design for a little bit. I was doing floral design during the pandemic when we were just kind of rediscovering ourselves and what our talents were. I think I just turned to design and interiors just out of sheer interest. And it's something that obviously stuck for mm -hmm. us. We also lived together. Oh yeah. <laughs> we also lived together and our apartment came together like that. I think that was such a pivotal moment because we were like, Hmm. We did pretty good, pretty well. <laughs> There's so many components that go into making a space feel comfortable. And it's totally psychological as well. Like you enter a space and it completely affects how you feel. My home is my favorite place because I change how I feel all the time and I change my interiors all the time. There's definitely a through line between our two aesthetics. We always used to say that we kind of share a brain, but Nora's style is definitely slightly more playful and leans a little bit brighter, more colorful. Jordy loves a stripe she's identified as a stripe girl it's a known thing that I'm actually not good at doing makeup so I need tools that are really easy to use I will always brush my eyebrows I'll always put on blush and if it's a big night out I'll throw mascara on mm -hmm. but skincare over everything I've really learned that a lot through modeling everything that I have in my makeup bag needs to also be able to fit in my purse and I need to be able to do my makeup in my phone screen running out the door probably everybody says this in any interview about New York but it's like an infinite well of inspiration and creativity and people just do exactly what they want.